Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 743. Hey, if you want to download this workbook, uh, 740 to 752, click on the link directly below the video and scroll down to the uh, Excel Magic Trick section. Now I'm going to shoot these, this video in full screen so you can uh, click the maximize to get the full view if you want. All we want to do in this video is we have some names here and then we have a list over here. Now these are the ones that we're interested in and we want to do conditional formatting here. Anytime this name here like 17 is over in this list we need to uh, conditional format the row. Similarly 47 is not in this list over here so we do not want to add conditional formatting to the row. Now when you're doing uh, our formula for row uh, we're going to do a true false formula and in fact I think I'll build it in the cells over here and uh, show you the the logic of how it works first and we're going to have to use mixed cell references. Now first if we're doing um, conditional format, I want to come over to this sheet, list two, and name this column. I want to name this name. And then we'll use that in our formula over in the other sheet. Now I'm going to highlight the field name at the top and the whole column, and I'm going to use the keyboard shortcut Control Shift F3. Control Shift F3 creates names from selection, and it says, hey, the name is in the top row. I click OK. Now you can see up here, we have a name. That answer one is for the answer sheet I've already prepared here. So I click name and you can see whoop, it got it just fine. All right, now I'm going to come back over here and we're going to do our true false formula. All we need to do is use the match function. The match function is a lookup function. If I say, hey, match lookup function, please look up that. And I'm going to have to lock this. So when I copy it this way, it's locked on that. But when I copy it down, it moves to the next one. So I'm going to hit the F4 key three times to lock the column, but not the row. Hey, match function, please look this value up. Where? The lookup array is our name. So I'm going to use the keyboard shortcut F3. That's paste name, F3. And I get the name, comma, and I'm looking it up there. Now, lookup function like VLOOKUP and INDEX return a value, but MATCH doesn't return the value, it returns the position, ordinal position in the list, the relative position in the list. Now I am looking up words that are not sorted, so I'm going to use exact match zero. Control enter. Now I'm going to copy this over and I'm going to copy it down a bunch. Now notice when we get a uh, and you can click on the end and see that it's it's working as we copy it over this way. It sticks on this um, name here, but when it moves down, right, or up, it, it moves to the next one. Now notice, what is it doing? It's returning the ordinal position, and then there's an error. But guess what? In terms of logical formulas, true, false, any non-zero number is true. And the conditional formatting will just ignore the error. So guess what? I can copy this formula. In edit mode, control C, escape. Now when you apply a true-false logical formula to a range of values for conditional formatting, the cell, the active cell, that's the light-colored cell right there, it is very important that you build the, the formula from that point of view, which is what I did. That formula right there I copied, and now I'm going to paste it. Now I'm going to go conditional formatting, new rule. I'm just going to use the keyboard shortcut that works in any version Alt O D, Alt O D, new rule. Formula in earlier versions, you have to click on the ta the first drop down and say formula is. If I can still remember after all these years, um, formula, and I'm going to click right there and Control V, and that's it. Now we format. How about fill whatever formatting you want. I used a, a dark value for fill, which red is a dark value, so I'm going to select font, light color, click OK, click OK, click OK. And sure enough, that seems to be working. If I, I'm going to change 17 over there to 47, so I'm going to go over to this list just to test it. I'm going to change 17 to 47. And then the conditional formatting over here should have changed, and sure enough, it did. So that's how to conditional formatting a whole row matching an item in this list to a list on a different sheet. Alright, see you next video.